Are you considering moving to Winston-Salem, North Carolina? Stick around to hear 10 things you need to know before you make the move. I'm Nicholas Newcomer, your favorite North Carolina realtor of all time, helping people buy and sell in the triad and triangle areas of North Carolina. If you're thinking about relocating to the triad area, you may want to consider Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In this video, I'm going to go over 10 different things you may not know when you're considering Winston-Salem as your next move. Starting with number one, Winston-Salem can get quite rural. While Winston-Salem is a great small city, but once you drive five to 10 minutes in any direction from the center of town, it can get rural real fast. But Winston-Salem is not completely rural. Winston-Salem is a growing and booming city. In the last six months, homes have sold with an average of a half acre lot, but that's including the city and the rural part of Winston-Salem. But obviously, as you're leaving town, you'll start to get more land with your house. As you leave town, you'll start to see cornfields and different types of farms. Now, there are obviously pros and cons of living in the city versus the rural areas. For instance, having your own well in septic tank. That's a big turn off for some people. Other people love it. So if you're thinking about moving to Winston-Salem, just know that some parts are going to be quite rural and some will be in the city. Now on to number two on my list is the traffic or should I say the lack of traffic in Winston-Salem. Especially for a city its size. I know this is a great perk for some people moving from other areas of the country that they experience a lot of traffic. This is one of the big reasons why I love Winston-Salem. Now I'm not trying to say that there is not no traffic you'll definitely do see some traffic every now and then especially during rush hour traffic the mornings are kind of hectic and the evenings are kind of busy especially around big major highway interchanges obviously if there's a wreck or construction but for the most part there's very little traffic in fact i cannot tell you the last time i came to a standstill in traffic in winston-salem number three on the list is the food scene in winston-salem now while we are a growing city our food scene is not on track like some of the bigger cities I've been to. Now, this is my personal opinion. If you have a favorite restaurant in Winston-Salem, let me know in the comments below. However, Winston-Salem is not slacking too much. Winston-Salem obviously has all the fast food spots, all those set down chains, restaurants, tons of Mexican restaurants all around also. Winston-Salem has Chinese and Japanese places all around. We're starting to see more and more Indian food as well and more different variations of Asian food like the ramen places. We have or small mom and pop diners also. In Winston-Salem, there's also a lot of Mediterranean and a lot of Greek restaurants. There's also some really great seafood places, but by far the kind of restaurant you'll see the most is barbecue. And that's probably has to do with the fact that Lexington, North Carolina, which is a city over, Lexington claims to be the barbecue capital of the world. In Lexington, North Carolina, there are so many barbecue restaurants there, it's wild. If you're a big foodie, you're still gonna love Winston-Salem. If you're looking for something special, you may have to travel to Greensboro to Charlotte, but that would be in a very rare case. Continue on the list is number four, allergies. If you're moving to this area, you're definitely going to need to know about the outdoor allergies. Our allergy season starts around March and it goes all the way through June, but April is the month where you're really going to have to watch out for. In April starts the springtime allergies in Winston-Salem. In the first few weeks of April in North North Carolina, we get pollen, this greenish yellow looking haze that occurs as everything is blooming. Don't try to wash your car because right after you do, it will be covered in this nasty pollen. If you're susceptible to outdoor allergies, think it through because the allergies can get quite bad. Usually for me, I just take an Allegra in the morning and it's not so bad for me. Number five and most importantly, home prices in Winston-Salem. The average home price in Winston-Salem is 256,000. When you compare Winston-Salem to the whole triad area, which also covers Greensboro, High Point, and the surrounding area, Winston-Salem comes in $13,000 cheaper than the other areas. Here are some examples of homes for sale in Winston-Salem right now. Now there is a wide gap of price ranges from $80,000 that will get you a two bed, one bath small house in the Avondale neighborhood, all the way to a little over $2 million home that will get you six bedrooms, five full baths, two half baths in Buena Vista. Winston-Salem has something that will fit every everyone's price range. Right now, the average rent is $827 according to niche.com. 
I personally think it would be higher than that depending on the neighborhood and where you are looking to rent in Winston-Salem. Next up we have is the weather in Winston-Salem. We touched a little bit on this earlier with the pollen in the beginning of the springtime. The second worst part of the weather is the humidity in the summertime, especially after a, a pop-up thunderstorm. When the sun comes back out after one, that is when you can really feel it and it is miserable to most people. The average humidity is around 60% for the year, which is not that terrible however in august is the worst time the humidity gets to be around 70 percent the average temperature in august is 85 degrees however we do see days in the 90s do not let this discourage you we do normally see mild winters in the summer is not all that bad i suggest stay in the air condition on those days that it's unbearable number seven is the property tax in winston-salem i get this a lot when people are considering moving to winston if you buy a home in the town of winston-salem you'll be paying in the property tax rate of 0.6360% and the county tax rate of 0.6778% for every $100 of assessed value. The total would be 1.3138% tax for a property in the city. Now, if you purchase a home in the county, you would only be paying the county tax rate and not the city. Once the Salem came in, number five for the metro area with the fastest growing property taxes in America. Next up, we have number eight is going to be new construction. Construction. This can be seen as a pro or con, really depends on how you individually look at it. Right now in Winston-Salem, in the past two years, new construction homes have been popping up everywhere. One reason is there is such a massive housing demand in Winston-Salem. There is also an influx of people relocating to Winston-Salem for various reasons. Some people now can work from anywhere and have always wanted to make the move to Winston-Salem. Here are some new construction opportunities going on right now. They are in the price ranges from two. 229,000 and up. Most builders are offering different incentives right now. They was not offering these incentives in the middle of 2022. Next up we have there is no major airport in Winston-Salem. I know that will be shocking to some since it is in a huge city. However, you can go to PTI Airport in Greensboro. That will take you about 35 minutes depending on the route you take. There is also Raleigh-Durham International Airport. If you need to go to an international airport, it will take you around one hour and 35 minutes to get to the RDU airport. So there are options to fly, but you will have to be willing to make the drive to get to the airport. Last but not least is the lack of major league sports or big venues for the performing art. If you enjoy going to an NFL or NBA game, you will have to travel to Charlotte to see the Carolina Panthers play at the Bank of America Stadium, or you can travel to see the Charlotte Hornets play a major league basketball game. It will take you around one hour and 15 minutes to get to Bank of America stadium and about the same time to uh, go see the charlotte hornets play once salem does have several different venues you can go watch different shows like the stevens center which was originally a movie theater in 1929 and it has been converted to host different type of shows there is also the little theater of winston salem which is the oldest performing arts organization in winston salem they have different types of musicals throughout the year there we have it i hope those 10 different things can help you decide if winston salem is the best place for you. Let me know in the comments what you like or don't like about Winston-Salem. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. I release new videos every Friday. If you have any questions or looking to buy, sell, or invest in the area, call or text me at 336-266-8976 or email me at nicholas.newcomer at exprealty.com. I hope you have seen some value in today's video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.